Where are we today? Tokyo, Kyoto. No, this Japanese garden, more than a hundred years old, is in Brooklyn, the Botanic Gardens, where from time to time you can have tea, the Japanese way. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Japanese tea ceremony today. Keiko Kitazawa is our guide. The Japanese tea ceremony is centuries old. So let's make a, a bowl of tea for you. And can take up to four hours. I'm going to purify all the utensils mm -hmm. before serving tea. Okay. But not this morning. So now I'm going to add the tea powder. The ancient ceremony is meant to imbue harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Wow. May I just say? Yes. This is not chai from Starbucks. <laughs> it is different. <laughs> Highest quality matcha that we are using. The tea ceremony puts you in a different place if you let it. How is this? Perfect. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Tranquility achieved. Now it's time to eat. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Welcome to Ichiran. Thank you. <laughs> Ichiran. Ubiquitous in Japan has three restaurants in New York serving one thing. So we only specialize in pork bone soup ramen. Period. Yes. No sushi, no sashimi, no soba, just ramen. I think I'm going to be medium with everything. Safe choices for the first timer. But here's the twist. For an, someone you don't want to interact with anyone at all, this is the perfect restaurant for so that. So that's what these kind of... Partitions are for, yes. You yeah. keep them up. Um, the server doesn't have to speak to you if you don't want to. You have your own private space to yourself to enjoy your meal. Okay. A ramen restaurant for the recluse. Thank you. <laughs> the ramen is ridiculously delicious. But man cannot live by ramen alone. We're at Brooklyn Cora. We're a sake brewery based in New York City in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Brandon Dawn and Brian Poland met in Japan. We wandered into a traditional sake brewery, and we were just kind of blown away by the smells and, and the equipment and, and the process there. What are the main ingredients? It's got steamed rice, it's got Brooklyn water, yeast, and it's got koji, which is a type of fungus that we grow in a portion of the rice. And that's where we get our sugar that then gets turned into alcohol. Inside the giant tank is where the magic happens. So this is our Junmai Ginjo, and it's about uh, two weeks old, so it's got about another two weeks of fermentation. And from that, remarkably, comes this. I'm surprised. All right, in a good way? It smells like wine. As a reporter, it would have been irresponsible to try just one. That's really good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Just out of curiosity, what's the alcohol content? So this clocks in about 15%, so it's like a, a strong wine. It's mighty good. <laughs> I've had two sips, I feel like I'm a little tipsy. Oh, nice. Be assured, I wasn't driving that day. Are Americans ready to have locally brewed sake? Yeah, I, I think the answer is yes. I mean, you should see this tap room um, pre-pandemic and starting to be in, again now. I mean, it's pretty crazy. And crazy to me that there could be so much Japan in one borough. Kampai. Oh, yeah. love it. It was pretty good. We got to go get some. I you know, know, by the way, the Bonsai Garden in uh, at the uh, Brooklyn Botanic Garden yeah. open again oh, as oh, of good. like this weekend. Oh. Gorgeous. Did you Perfect. bring us some sake or no? <laughs> well, you know, there was so much sake consumed <laughs> last you week. Forgot that. Well, no, I was told, I think maybe we need to tap the brakes. Oh, as it were. Yes. yes, thank okay. you, Harry. Because we have, we're, we're trying to dry out. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.